Ghost is a website platform that allows you to basically make a website by picking a theme and then hosting a newsletter. So in this video, we're going to walk through how to make a website or pick a theme for Ghost and then go into customizing that theme. And then finally going over a little bit about some other competitors in case you want a little bit more customization than Ghost allows you to. So I am here on Ghost's website. I will link below um, a link to get there or swipe it across the screen. But essentially you're gonna go to their website and you can sign up. Now they do require a credit card. The last time I signed up, although you can do most things for free. It's just, I think you have to pick what type of membership you want, which we'll go over pricing in a minute, but I just wanna show you what it looks like before you do commit to buying a ghost theme and stuff. I know what it's like to just be like, just show me what it looks like before I start purchasing things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign into my personal account and show you guys kind of what it looks like on the inside. So when I sign in, I have this, I have 115 people in my newsletter. It's not crazy, but it's better than zero. So on the left-hand side, you're gonna see view site, explore, post pages, tags, members, and Ghost Pro. So this is the billing information. So right now I actually have the creator plan. So here's some, you can do a starter, or a creator, you could do a team, a business, whatever. I recommend doing the starter and using a free template if you've never used this before. Now you can use it up to 500 members, which is great because we're all trying to just grow our newsletters. We're not trying to go crazy here, but I have the creator plan mainly because I'm using a customized theme, which I purchased, which we'll go over in a second here. But if we go back to the dashboard, essentially this is what it's telling you where your top source is. I linked it on Twitter for a while, so a lot was coming from Twitter. Some other things, what are your best, your recent posts, et cetera, et cetera. No one actually like plays around in here. So essentially we can view the site. This is mine. We'll go over how to change the theme and everything. This is a the Ali Abdal theme. And then we have posts. And this is where I post for my newsletter. So you can kind of see that we have like these 46% opened and clicks and you can go in and analyze that, which we'll go over in a minute here. But I just kind of want to give you the lay of the land. And we have draft, schedule, publish, who cares? It's all posts. Pages is pages on my website. So if you click a button, it'll take you to another page. Different than a post. So they're, they look almost identical, but they're in different sections. Um, tags as well, I don't really use, so let's be honest. And then I just have my members, and this is all the members that have signed up for my newsletter. Now that we have the lay of the land, what we're gonna do is actually go down to this settings button down here, click that, and then you have all these pop-ups, and you're like, oh, it's too much. Just focus on design first. So you can go in here, and then it shows you what your website looks like on the right, and then here are some customized things that you can do here. Now, again, I have an Ali Abdal template. How I installed that is I went to Super Themes, Ghost Themes. Uh, I just followed this developer on Twitter and I like his stuff. And I went and purchased Buy Ali Abdal Original for $149. I have an entire video on how to install this theme, but I'll give you the rundown. You basically buy it, it's a, you buy a zip file. Then what you do is when you're inside um, here, see how this is change theme at the very bottom? You can go ahead and click that and you can pick any theme that you want. So these are free. Most of these are free that they allow you to use. And then you, so this was the original one. I think this is the, this is the default one that they give you. So you can click that one and install these themes or you can do what's called upload theme and it says to drop your zip file. So you can buy any zip file off the internet and drop it in here as long as it's a ghost theme. So Super Themes has good ones. Um, Ghost has their own whole professional Ghost themes. So you can go down here, buy this one. Oh wait, no, this one's free. So you could use this one, or you could pay, this one's $89, this one's $79, and you could just pick one, buy the zip file, and drag and drop it into here. So this is the actual site, let me close out of that. So now you know how to change your theme. So once you upload the theme, then all of a sudden you have these site designs. So you can go in here into brand and customize them. This is all gonna be different depending on the theme that you select. So in my theme, I can pick an accent color, I can add an icon, which you see the 60 by 60 pixels. You can actually just go into Canva and make your own logo by pressing create a design, custom size, and make it 60 
by 60 pixels, create new design, and then paste whatever you want. Download that and then upload it here. That's the easiest way and it's free, completely free. <clears throat> so you can do that. Um, as Same with the logo. I'm pretty sure I just made mine in Canva. I also sometimes will use the Wix logo maker, which I will link below as well. Um, and you can upload that as well. And then site-wise, here's some other stuff. I can add my YouTube URL, et cetera, et cetera. YouTube ID, I had to put the YouTube channel ID or the video ID so that it could pop up here. Again, specific to my template. I will also link below how I installed all of Doll's template. I do like literally step-by-step -step how to do it. And then posts again, you can say small or whatever you want. So that is how you actually go and customize your actual theme. You upload it. You can also see what it looks like on the phone, which is kind of nice, kind of convenient. Like, oh, this looks pretty good, you know? Um, or what it looks like on the computer. So that is how you change up your theme and kind of design it and customize it a little bit. So let's go back to settings here. And we, again, I talked about this post section. Posts and pages are different. So if we go to my site, you can see these are pages. They will take you to a page. So if I click this, it takes me to a productivity page, different than a post. So if I go back, but if my latest articles, these are all posts, post, 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 page, 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 and page. Now again, it's gonna be dependent on what your theme does, but my theme treats these as pages and these as posts. So that is exactly how it works. So if you want a page, then you create a page and then you can <clears throat> link it in there. Most of the time, the it will tell you if it links it. So mine, as long as I have courses as my page URL, it will link to my courses. Again, it should be in the documentation of your theme, but for my theme, it says, look, as long as you name your page courses, the theme will pick up that that is your page and then send it there. There's no coding required, it knows. Um, the other thing that you can do for posts is different. You post in here, so I have scheduled on here. So when you make a new post, you can schedule it for a certain period of time. So I schedule mine on Tuesdays and then it sends it out to my newsletter. So posts are treated more as a newsletter, but you can view them here, just the latest ones, but you can't view all of them because I need some incentive for the newsletter. So how it works is you can go in here and create a new post and, and make any post like, um, what is web development? You could do web development, right? And then blah, blah, blah. Now, when I go to publish this, I can say schedule for later, and then I type in the date and time I want to send to all my newsletters. Now you can make them paid. I don't recommend it, especially if you're starting out, but if you're transitioning, you can make it paid as well. Um, so then you go and pay, you go and post and you have the web, web development one and you can work on it, it saves it. It's really nice. What's cool about the post is you can use these, this hashtag and space and it makes it big. So this is a heading one. And then two hashtags space is heading two. And then three hashtags space is a heading three. Kind of makes sense, one, two, three. So what I like to do is do that and then the backslash, I can add image or YouTube. You just, you type it just like Notion. That's why I like the user face of Ghost mo more than any other platform because it makes it so easy to embed things like a bookmark you just paste a URL and it makes it this nice pretty bookmark. So we can go into maybe my latest post for what is Angular. Um, it's pretty, see these pretty bookmarks, I can embed things. This takes so little time and it's just such a nice interface. I've tried to use some of the other places to host my newsletter, it just does not work as well. And that's essentially the posts. Now, if you want to customize your domain, you actually have to go to Ghost Pro down here and then go to Domain, and then you can go in here and activate and edit a custom domain. So you can go ahead and press Update and then scroll down and you'll see your information that you need for your DNS records. Now, don't get freaked out. It's not that hard. They say see instructions, click that, <clears throat> copy this email and send it to your domain provider. So if you have Google domains, 
You just copy this entire email, send it to them and have them set it up for you. Or you can go in here and enter your record type, your host and follow the instructions. You can Google how to do it. It's not that difficult, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. You just copy and paste this email. They literally made it for you. Now you can go into settings and explore a little bit more. Like you can, you can go into memberships and make, make sure that other people can't sign up or you want it open to all and edit a ton of stuff. You can also go to premium and make it paid. There's lots of options. Just go into the settings and kind of play around with it. For the most part, I don't really play around with this excess stuff. I mainly just keep mine for a view kind of site. Um, so you can go in here and click around and see what I'm up to and then have the newsletter on top of it, but that is all free. Now there are other website applications that you can use in order to build websites. So one I wanna talk about here is Webflow. So it is also a competitor of Ghost and some of these other like Wix, Squarespace, all that. This is what it looks like here. Again, you just drag and drag and drop stuff. This is more if you want a customized more feel. It's a lot more upfront work, but it will pay off if you're looking for more of that customized stuff. Now with Framer is also very similar to Webflow. The only difference is it's made for more of visual people like designers. See how it's nice and simple and it's pretty where this is more like, okay, here's a link button, a div block. It's more for developers. So you do have a couple different options if you want to customize your site a little bit more than what Ghost allows. Now I hope this gives you a better idea of what Ghost is, what it allows you to create, give, give you a sense of what I'm using it for, and then a couple other options if this doesn't quite fit your need of what you want your, your um, website to do. So go ahead and check out my Webflow tutorial or my Framer tutorial if you want to see more of that customized feel for your website. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.